Something is missing here. Hmm. This is crazy. There wasn't a barn there four hours ago. Let's take a tour. That's right, this is our new barn. It's our hay barn, and it only took four hours to put up by two dudes, not me, but two guys who do this as a living. Yes, sometimes in homesteading, you wanna DIY. Sometimes it makes sense to let somebody else do it that is a professional. So we have a balance of that. There's things I do on my own, and then sometimes you call in the professional, like I said, Especially with these um, metal barns, this really is just a fancy carport, people. And I'll give you the full tour in a second. Um, but a lot of times when you buy these, it comes with the installation cost. So it's included in the price. And I really was amazed. Two guys showed up and they were done in four hours. Four hours to have a new building on our farm. So. The specs on this, it's 20 feet wide by 30 feet deep, and it's 12 feet tall, which is pretty tall, but we are going to be using this for storing hay. We're at least gonna double stack it, and that's already about nine feet right there. And then with the tractor, when you take the hay bale off, you need another foot or two. So we wanna make sure that we have plenty of room here um, we may even store our uh, horse trailer in here, which is actually kind of tall. So we wanted to go bigger than, you know, nine or 10 feet. We wanted to make sure that it fit what we want to do with it. So again, this is just a fancy carport, people. Um, I was just surprised at how easily and quickly these guys put this up. It was just fantabulous. Um, I did have to do some prep work. We had to get gravel down here. I had to level the area out. Uh, we had the gravel dumped and then I used the tractor to smooth it out. And really I did a pretty good job. There's only one little place in the very back corner where they had to use a brick and I'm happy with that. Um, so let's go ahead and check out this barn. So this spot here is where we typically would store our horse trailer. It's a flat area, but we needed a place to store hay. Um, we started out using square bales and we have a small hay shed up top to store that, but that just wasn't doing the trick. Then we switched to round bales and for a while we had to drive over an hour every few weeks to get two round bales and that took our horses about two and a half weeks to eat on average. So every two and a half weeks I was making this extra trip to get these hay bales because if you have horses you know that horse hay is not the same thing as cow hay. Um, we talked to our hay guy and he said he could deliver 15 bales at once and uh, he would charge us a little bit for gas. But really in the end, we saved a bunch of money because we only had to pay that once as opposed to seven times, right? So instead of driving 14 hours, this guy came and drove an hour here and then an hour back and we didn't have to go get hay. Um, but we didn't have a place to store it. We were storing hay in like four different places actually. Um, we had it underneath um, our uh, horse shelter, inside our barn we had two bales and we had three or four bales over there with that carport. But the problem with that is that that was taking up shelters that weren't really, um, that wasn't our plan for the farm. If we had them up front with the horses in their horse shelter, we couldn't have the horses there. If we had them in the barn, that was taking up barn space, it was hard to access through the door. Sometimes you had to squeeze through like this to get through the door. So this is really gonna change um, life on the farm. And we are not just going to be storing hay in here. Hay will go in the back, but we will probably put the tractor in here, maybe an implement or two maybe the uh, horse trailer if you see it up there maybe 
But I think the horse trailer is actually going to go on the side is our plan. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'd need me a four-wheeler or an ATV side-by-side, -side, something like that. A UTV side-by-side, four-by-four. Um, and this here is the perfect place to uh, park it, people. So we're inside. Hello, 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 hello. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. The acoustics, people. The acoustics are just phenomenal. So here we are. We're inside. And this is our view. My wife was even saying she could do a little bit of horse work in here on a rainy day um, if we didn't have it filled with hay or something. So let's check out the outside. And I'm telling you, these guys showed up and they got to work. Four hours, people. Magic barn. Magic barn. And it looks good, too. So let's check out the outside. Okay, here's our outside. It's red barn with the white trim. And it's kind of hard to see the roof, but the roof is actually gray. It's hard to see with the, uh, the sun there, but there's a gray roof on top of there. And it actually, up top we have our red barn, so it matches our red barn. And we have a red she shed and a red man shed. So this really matches and it looks good. So let's check it out. Check out the little trim work here. Red barn, red barn, red barn, red barn. So we weren't able to get it right next to the fence here. There's corn dog. Uh, it had to be a few feet off from the fence line, which is fine. Um, there's a chance I may use this little back area for something like storing firewood or something. Um, I'm sure I'll, I'll figure it out. Here's the other edge of it. We had some extra pieces, um, which is all good because I can use this for a future cabin build up on the hill. So I like that we have the extra materials. And then it has, you know, the little barn gable roof here that just gives it a little bit of class. Hey, corn dog, corn dog, corn dog. I'm gonna walk out here so, so you can get a good view of it. And then I wanna tell you why we went with a fancy metal carport instead of, you know, a wooden barn. There's a couple reasons. One, it was affordable. Two, like I said, this was put up in four hours, people. Four hours, two guys that knew what they were doing. Um, and now we can put our hay in it, which is what we wanna do. So here's another shot of the barn. Dun, 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 dun. And then we got the nice red side here. Dun, dun, dun. I think sometimes with homesteading, you think you gotta do everything yourself. I am not one of those people. There's lots of things I do by myself. Uh, I maintain these trails, we feed all the animals, we garden, uh, we do a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm a beekeeper, um, I've worked on that she shed, the man shed, the house, I do a little bit of furniture building, but I've kind of realized you can't be an expert at everything, people. Sometimes it gets exhausting. Um, so sometimes it's good to, you know, find a professional that can do this in four freaking hours. Um, so my next step here is we're going to put some pallets in the back there for the hay. We have, I think, enough. Um, uh, we may have to go to the feed store and get a few more pallets. But I think we're going to have our hay delivery here on Saturday, which is really good because we're just down to this broken bale, which is not good. It's like normally we have that in our hay hut. So we're down to this half fallen apart bale so if our hay guy doesn't get here we're gonna have to get some square bales until he can get here so i hope you enjoyed this video this is uh the latest addition to our uh, family farm here we got about 20 acres in western north carolina uh if you like this video 
comment, subscribe, say hello, and uh, we'll see you in a video very soon.